Good morning, good evening, whatever it is, we're up your YouTube. As we're on the way out here, you might be wondering why I'm on the 125 again. Well, I've got a bit of a fleet update. I've actually sold the SNR, not because of any particular need to, other than it simply wasn't getting used. Um, we've got well through the summer, hadn't been turned a wheel since September last year. When I actually sat down and thought about it, the garage at home is very cramped. Uh, it's not what I keep race by cat, but the garage is very cramped. It wasn't getting used. And the reality is this little Lex Moto does the job of the FZR just as well. So sadly I bid a fond farewell to it. It's with a great new owner who's going to absolutely love it. Um, I wish them all the luck in the world with it, although there's no luck needed. It's a thoroughly sorted bike and it's ready to go. And they got it for an absolute song, frankly, less than it were. But anyway, so this brings me back to the 125. Why did I keep the 125 and sell the 600? Well, obviously, I've still got the CBR. I've still got the Benelli. They're the sunny, shiny day bikes. And I sort of pretty much just alternate the use of those. I was actually out for Benelli this morning. But the weird thing is, on the road, look at what we're doing. We're doing less than 50 miles an hour, stuck behind a Prius, I'm just tootling along. The small bikes are actually, in some ways, more fun to ride. And I've got to say, for me, have been an eye-opener. On the road, you simply don't need lots of power. It is absolutely unnecessary. And working a small bike hard, chucking it into the roundabouts quickly, hearing the exhaust pop on over and sounds like a little mini Moto3 bike is actually more fun because you're doing it within the constraints. I don't know if you can hear that, it goes a little pop again. But you do it within the constraints of the speed limits. And the problem is, even a 600, when you're starting to get fun out of it, you're invariably travelling faster than the speed limit. And this road down here is a great point in, K, in a case in point. I can attack this road, I can really attack it on this bike. To the point where there are certain corners, like this one coming up, where you do have to actually roll off a tiny bit, but it's so light and precise, I can place it precisely where it needs to be to get the maximum fun out of it. And it's actually more important than doing this, and again, this is just huge fun. And this is well within what the bike can do, but it's more fun hustling this little bike through this country road than it is a big bike, because if I was pushing a big bike hard, I'd be doing 130 miles an hour. I am doing, oh, let's have a look, 67 at a bush. <laughs> In a 67, I'm 7 miles an hour over the limit. That's it, and I'm having an absolute laugh. I can clip this white line right on it. I can come right over, clip the verge. It's so precise and light. I'd have been on the brakes by now, but late on the brakes. Down two gears. There we go. Tip it in. Wide open throttle on the way out. Not there is much. And it's silly, but it's fun. And do you know what? It's great. If you don't, if you've only ridden medium and big bikes for a while, do yourself a favour, get a little 125, make sure it's semi-sporty, hack it around for a month, I bet you will have more fun than you've had in the last 10 years. It'll make you feel like a teenager again. When you've got a gaggle of you, you decide to go down the coast for fish and chips, and you're all on these little 125s, you start behaving like kids. And the best bit is, if you've got some intercoms and that, you'll find you're just laughing because you start drafting each other and, and playing about. And it's stuff you simply won't do on a bigger bike in the same way. So there you go, a little bit of a different perspective. I absolutely love this little Exmoto. I don't feel I'm missing out riding it, ever. So it has become my mainstay bike. You haven't seen it? So uh, the other thing is, when things like that happen, because you're doing half the speed and the bike's got no weight, it stops on an absolute dime. It stops, despite the very tiny brakes and things like that, it stops dead because it doesn't weigh anything. So, yeah, change your perspective. Go and try something out your comfort zone. You'll feel a bit odd at first riding a little 125 because you'll think, well, it's got no power. Well, it doesn't. It's got 12 or 13 horsepower. When you learn to exploit that, you'll find it's hilarious. There you go. Little just pointless video just because I'm on the way and I'd already shot a video today and I thought, well, the camera's still rolling, the sound recorder's still going. Let's use up the rest of this um, memory card space and there you go. Hit, if you like these videos, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon.